Oh, that there, that's a, that's an RV. Yeah, but I barely even risked my life to do that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go. It's a good looking vehicle, ain't it? Fuck sawed off, Frenchman. Get some fucking room on the goddamn bench. Clearing stick. All right, so it's the fucking day. We're going to start uh, judging the uh, International Quarantine Fuck Show. And I figure uh, we might as well come out to old sawed off Frenchman's fucking shop. As you can see here, I've got a beautiful collection of garbage. Just gorgeous fucking shit, as far as the eye can see. You have to sweep up the rust every few days. Oh, that's fucking good though. He's got the, uh, the neighbor's got the plywood driveway, he's got the plywood shop floor. But we figure, uh, come over to this fucking minty cunt's place, and uh, he doesn't even live in a fucking trailer, but... We're gonna judge all this fucking minty shit. Uh, all of them are badass as fuck, except for a few fantastic fucking piles, like, uh... I don't know. Like, that thing's not very fucking... It's it's kind of fucking mint, but it's not like these fucking guys. You can't compare it to that fucking mint prick. But, uh, anyway, we picked our top fucking picks here. But beforehand, we're going to go the fuck outside and beat the fuck out of some shit. Because, uh, I don't think you cunts want to fucking sit there and watch a couple of fuck... A fat fucking German and some sawed-off Frenchman finger-fuck each other on a goddamn laptop. So... Let's go fuck something up. So we need the fucking bare necessities here. We need a fucking battery. Oh, fucking vice grip. So, so we got all the size of wrenches there. And they're even vice grip branded. Oh, classy fucking shit. And that's about it, really. Oh, oh, we need one more thing. Just need a little can consent. We need, might as well get a fucking fresh can. Oh yeah, it is fucking rainy and fucking windy out here. You can see the gas plant right there. What a fucking treat. But look at the fucking majestic shit that this sawed off Frenchman has. This is the only reason we hang out, because usually Germans and French fucks don't get along very well. So this is gonna be uh, different from our channel usually goes. We're gonna we're gonna fix this fucking thing up and uh, put it back to a I'm just fucking with you. Look at this shitty old fucking short wheelbase fucking dog that sawed off Frenchman got all fucking dialed in. Um, he done a cab delete on it, except for the mint fucking shitter. It's got a d disgusting fucking propane tank on the back. It's probably gonna fucking explode. But we're gonna get this fucking piece of shit running and then trash the living fucking guts out of it. <laughs> <laughs> or what's left for guts. Now, we're not really a fan of guns at all, clearly, because guns kill people. But this thing may or may not have been in a... Uh, a bit of a fucking shootout. Like, usually dually rims on the front don't have, uh, you know, air deleters or wind deleters on the fucking front there. But this thing's been winded a little bit. Even the air cleaner cover's got a little bit of a fucking speed hole in it. But we're gonna get her going. It's a shitbox fucking Dodge, so you know it's not gonna have any power. And, uh, yeah. Oh, we got a little fucking redneck diamonds on the ground there. Fuck, we got, uh, Mr. Pakistani's new vehicle here. That's a nice fucking rug. Look at that magic carpet. And they Fuck. even put carpet over the asbestos tiles. Oh, nice. Aladdin would love that. Fuck. Sorry, Kevin. I got some fucking mud on my shoes here. Oh, all right. So this fucking thing, believe it or not, is right fucking full of 1075. That is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. And, uh, you know, it might explode. It might not. So we're willing to take that risk. We'll just get in there nice and deep like with that stick. Yeah, that good. Like oh, fuck yeah. It's wood, so it won't spark like my fucking leg look at the fucking panoramic view out here just gas plants on every side you won't even get any cancer from that yeah alberta alberta now with a side of cancer it might be a tumor it's not a tumor let's see if there's propane in here oh yeah. oh yeah oh it smells like the good stuff oh it's good to go 1975 edition so you know it's good the distributor looks fucking mint oh the wiring's already fucked because it was dodge but uh, let's see if she'll fucking die out of life. Is that a Saginaw pump on there? All right, uh, so sawed off Frenchman here done a bit of a propane tank fucking uh, wind delete on her. But uh, I don't know, how, how did this happen? Did it, like erosion or what? Well, I was just minding my own business and I tripped and my rifle went off and shot this oh, thing about a thousand times. Every fucking time. <laughs> it was the worst case of fucking RV suicide they ever fucking did see. All right, so he's on the fuel. I'm on the battery. There's a bunch of fucking propane lingering around here, so when we hook this cunt up, it'll be a real fucking treat. All right, so we're just running fucking fuel line here, and uh, what were you saying there, sawed off Frenchman? Oh, it's, it's got some bullet damage. Yeah, but they're barely even, man, how did you get it right in the fucking fuel line? Good aim. Uh, and we're gonna add some, uh, oh, fuck, some real nice electrical tape will do. See, electrical tape is uh, propane rated. You wanna see if it leaks? 
Oh, fuck yeah. I know it fucking leaks. Is it a leak or is it a pour? This can go one of one way. Okay. <laughs> it's, sa it's safe though, right? This exposed dodge wiring isn't going to fuck anything? When has dodge wiring ever been an issue? Uh, it's it's basically a built-in glow plug all the time. <laughs> I don't think this thing's going to leak. It's not going to fucking leak. She's mint. And if it fucking does... I'm a horse's ass. <laughs> it's fucking horse shit. All right, so we got the fucking line all dialed in. And now we're just gonna see uh, if it leaks. Oh, it's, it leaks a lot. Yeah, but how much is a lot though? Is it is it leaking in the bullet hole? Oh, that's a nice smelling fucking propane. Hank Hill would beat off to this fucking shit. We have a fuel line. And no fucking leaks? I don't smell death. That doesn't mean it's not coming for us. <laughs> that's fucking way she goes. <laughs> I had to go switch out the old fucking one-legged footwear because, uh, my leg almost fell off. We're after some immense spittle fucking. We finally figured out what the old fucking concrete saw's uh, kryptonite is. It's, uh, mullet breaks driveway, and when it's wet, barely fucking cuts. But, uh, give her some, uh, persuading with that persuasion stick. That was the most fuel we've ever burned trying to cut so little plywood. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, the battery don't mint. So uh, old sawed off Frenchman and I were just going over the safety aspects. Bunch of fucking bullet holes in the fuel line. Check. Fiddle fucking around with a goddamn chop saw going through a bunch of metal and wood. Check. Fucking mint. And it's rainy. Oh and yeah. And slippery as fuck. And we got this gorgeous fucking Berber carpet. Oh yeah. Think about all the night. Hey, a bunch of fucking kids that are around the age of uh, 30, 25 years old, you were probably made in this RV. Just fucking. Think oh, of the stains. There's a stain of your brother and sisters right there. <laughs> Look at the sawed-off Frenchman's dolly. Just fucking struggling. Old sawed-off Frenchman and I are just admiring that fucking beautiful 1970s brake controller. Just Look majestic. Oh, just went all out on this. Look at the shifter. Right into performance. Look at that pleather fucking dash. Just making 1970s muffs drip. All right. So what we did here is we done a fucking solenoid delete because it's probably got solenoids and shit somewhere else, so we're not really worried about it. So we got the old fucking cordless grinder here. We're just gonna rough this up a little bit, do a little bit of that with this, and uh, everything's gonna be OEM. All right, now we're just gonna use the right self tapper. You don't wanna use the wrong one, and give her all the weight. That's fuck probably yeah. the best ground ever installed. Oh, fuck yeah. I don't even hear anything on fire yet. All right, the key's in it. Oh. Is it is stuff turning on? Well, then let me get up in the old fucking... Uh... Oh, fuck yeah. Oh. Oh, let me fucking give her a little bit of good stuff. You're going to need to dance on the old skinny pedal here. I'll reach over with my good foot. Oh, I think the throttle's stuck. Oh! Oh, the fucking can consent. Take the fucking lid off. Oh, Fox Creek. <laughs> <laughs> we got the right size fucking ranch here with this quarter inch hardware. Fuck, she just sounds promising. This old fucking dog's gonna fire. How many bullet wounds did it have in it? All of them. Crank it again. I need less flooring. Hold on here. What a fucking hodgepodge of fuckery. Stomp on that pedal and it'll tell you where it is right now. Oh, yeah, there she was, goes. It was closed. It was closed. All right, let's just fucking pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. All right, just run her over a little bit, see what happens. We got propane, propane. Propane, propane. There you go. Propane, propane. Propane, propane. Propane, propane. Oh, we don't have propane, propane. I don't know if you hair lip cunts know this, but my old man used to drive to fucking work in the morning there in his old 79 Ferd. 
And he'd get about halfway down the fucking long driveway there, and this fucking piece of shit would freeze off. It's supposed to have fucking coolant cheating through it, and it's gonna heat the fucking propane in it, turn it from a liquid into a gas, and then she dials into here. Well, he'd pour his fucking morning coffee on there, and it'd really fucking piss him off, so, uh, we need to get this thing fucking cheating. All right, growing up, I used to fiddle fuck with these piece of shit fucking 1075 fired holes all the fucking time, but, uh, I don't know what the fuck we're doing now. But we just took the proper size ranch. Look at that fuck. Is that a track? Oh, is that cassette? That's cassette. Oh, what a fucking gorgeous. I bet you she works. If there was speakers. Oh, does she work? No love. No fucking love. Piece of. It's probably fucking wounded. All right. So we cracked it here. We got propane, propane igniting the flame, and uh, we think that this fucking cocksucker. It's supposed to do shit that's supposed to fucking give her all the way, but we don't really know what we're doing, so we're just gonna hook power up the things right beside the liquid propane and see what the fuck happens. All right, cunts, all joking aside, this is why I fucking hate Dodges. Like, you, you, you pull out a shitty old Ford out of the bush, like I've had in the past, and they always fucking start, and they crank fast enough, and they fucking catch, but listen to how fucking pathetic this piece of shit is. And my driver sucks dick. I'm a piece of fucking garbage. Fucking dog shit. Fuck, I hate this thing. All right, so uh, <laughs> we got to see what the fuck's going on. We all obviously got to think like 20 grand into this thing and justify it like every fucking Dodge guy does. But uh, let's get it running. All right, so everything's still going good here. We were just uh, having a little gander. Uh, Saw it off, Frenchman. What's that mist coming from this area here? Well, it looks like it has a bit of a leak. I'm not 100%. I'm going to have to inspect it closer oh, or yeah. inspect it from 100 yards away, maybe. You don't even have to worry about all the propane leaking. There's lots of it in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we learned from the last fucking video that this old dirty old cunt presser likes to eject at high tow rope speed, so... <laughs> we done the right fucking uh, amount of uh, ratchet straps there, and it'll be fucking mint. Uh, we're not going to put on chains because dispatch didn't say we had to. And uh, we're just going to give a roll away with this fucking thing. All right, in order to get this fucking thing out, we're going to use the old screwy long. But uh, it's really fucking important to use safety in this part here. So what I did is I found this chain at the dump. And I didn't have any nuts for the fucking hardware that I found at the dump. So I used a real good amount of fucking Saskatchewan chrome and made her mint. And the other side's fucked. I don't know what's going on with that, but we'll just tie a safety knot in it. Now that we got all that fucking shit hooked up, we're gonna add some fucking Saskatchewan chrome on a roll that also doubles as a fucking uh, beer holder. And uh, we're just gonna give her a few wraps, make sure she doesn't tug off. See how this is gonna pass. Fucking okay. safe. Oh, did you did you secure the fucking bomb? I did a piss poor job. I think it'll be good. Oh fuck yeah! Ninety percent of the time, that thing won't even blow up every time. All right, I'm going to be taking the video of moving this unit from the safest place in the house. It's particularly safe if you're, you know, in a rush to do so. Those down. Yeah. yeah. Did you you? Give her all the way. Front row seat spot. Did you stay up there? Oh yeah, give her. <laughs> what we got here is the strongest fucking metal that Dodge found in the Chevy metal bin. Fuck, I hate these fucking pieces of shit. Ready to the Napoleon? I'm trying to shit here. <laughs> oh. All right, so Canadian Rope and Industrial Supply actually gave me a brand new, or two of these fucking brand new ropes, and they're way better than the sink. But the key to all that is, oh, and by the way, go check them out. They're the fucking cheapest, best place to fucking deal with. And the guy there is just a fucking mint cunt. But uh, the key is to remembering them instead of just leaving them in the back of your rickshaw and forgetting this fucking piece of shit at home. But now we've got a double dual safety knot in there, and she's going to work. You know
She wants to go. She wants to go. <laughs> we gotta work smart, not hard. I'll put it in neutral. Oh yeah, it's good. Dry shelf. So, oh, no. so what we're looking at here is uh, this piece of aluminum, then a brake line delete. And what do we got going on? Oh, did it rally our fucking, oh, it fucked up our ground. I'll but, fix it. but that's a quick release ground because it's safe. So after all of our backs and a little of our brains, once again, we <clears throat> fucked up the tow rope and half of the chains. Now, uh, now that we got her out, we got the fucking propane, propane shut in. And we're just going to give her some fucking can consent because... Uh, Maybe it just likes that, or maybe the dodge wiring is completely fucked. So let's give her. Not even a fucking kachugga chugga. All right, since this thing's a fucking shitty Mopar, I just tried calling Uncle Tony in Uncle Tony's garage. He's a mint fucking guy, him and his old lady are 10 out of 10. But uh, he didn't want to answer the phone. So we just looked at some of the dodge wiring down there and it's gone full dodge wiring. So we couldn't it a little bit. Now I'm gonna floor it all the way with my good foot and then just hose it with ether. Let's see what happens now. It's kind of fucking firing. Fuck this thing's a piece of shit. Oh, it's smoking. What a sad sounding pile of dog shit. If this was a Ford, it had already have fucking started. Fuck this thing's a piece of fucking shit. <laughs> Try it again. I fucking hate this piece of fucking dog shit. Well, in true fucking fashion of a shitbox fucking Mopar, it's hooked up to a furred for life. So uh, the cranking is still fucking pathetic, but uh, we're just gonna keep cranking it, spraying uh, consent in a can and gas into it. Let's see if she fucking fires. Fuck, I hate this piece of fucking shit. This is why there's no fucking dodges in my fucking, in my, uh, category because everybody knows that they're just fucking shit there's a whole bunch of Fords and Chevys with minty fucking Cummins in them though no shitty fucking shipping crates all right I did something I really didn't want to have to fucking do I learned shit about fucking shitty fag fuck cock sucking dodges and uh, I, I also learned that a sawed off Frenchman might have been into a bit of a, a, a fight where lead was flying around and a little bit of wires were fucked up but now we got shit all dialed back in Let's fucking feed her a little bit more fucking Cosby's consent and uh, see if she goes. Give her. Oh, more ketchup. Oh, yeah, love that. Give her. Oh, yeah, get rid of the either. Oh, it loves it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's too much ketchup on the skinny pedal. All right, try it again. Oh, that's the ballast resistor is fucked. It only runs when the tank and... Is that off? Yeah. Fucking gay ass faggot fuck ballast fuck bag. What is the fucking... All right, I gotta give it to this piece of shit. She runs fucking mint, but let's see what happens now. Oh my god, it's such a fucking pile of dodge. All right. Oh, yeah. That's how you know it's good. Oh, how dare you! We need neutral. Oh. It's like a fucking shitty boat. <laughs> Is that neutral? Oh, it only fucking runs with the key on again. You don't need to worry about the Bendix. You want a burnout? I don't think so. Fuck is this thing a piece of shit?
Put her in neutral, let her sing some. There we go. Alright, so what you said, it's a burnout, it's a burnout, it doesn't matter if it's inside the rim or not. Alright, so what we did here is we just gave her all the way, I almost blew my cock clean off, but I had the old fucking gas jug, that, that gas is heinously old. Oh, yeah. So I had her dialed right in, and it had more power the more you turned the Bendix into the fucking, into the old uh, flex plate there. But fuck, this thing's pretty loyal, like let's... She, the propane off. She's out of propane. She's out of propane. Alright, so we got the loyal old seven tree just fucking charging the shit out of this piece of shit. We're trying to fucking put wheels on it so we can do a real nice triumphant fucking burnout. But Dodge is so fucking fantastic. Older fucking wheel hole bolt fucking sizes are all fuck you, they didn't cunt. Fuck these pieces of shit piss me off. Well, we just took off into the fucking shop here. And you see these? These now identify as wheel studs. And fucking bonus points. Anybody can tell me what kind of motor that is? I'll get the Frenchman to fucking give you a hand job with his mouth. Well, I don't know about you cunts, but I reckon this fucker's ready to go camping. We got some safety fucking wheels on there. The front was a little too fucky, so we put those half inch ones on there. You don't have to worry about how fucked up that is. This side's fucking mint. And this side here, there was so much rock tight on the nut. 
But there's about a half inch gap there, but you don't have to worry about that. That's only 13 millimeter. So we're good to go. Want to go camping there, shot off? Absolutely. Fuck yeah. You don't need to worry about how much propane leaks out of it. Oh, and also these dodges are giant piles of dodge. So what we're gonna do is once we get our fucking started, these fucking retards mounted the starter relay on the inside of the frame right there. So once it's running, you have to keep the key fucking tilted forward to give her max fucking RPMs. So what I'm gonna do is just keep her wick forward, but once she's running, I'm just gonna unhook that fucking wire down there so the Bendix isn't partying into the fucking ring gear. And that's basically how you fix a Dodge. All right, so I know you guys are usually used to me doing burnouts until shit lights on fire. And today will be no different. Except for this giant propane tank behind me might burst into flames and explode because uh, you know it's a solid leak when the propane is still liquid. So you know, you don't have to worry about it frosting up there. It's just a real nice mist. As long as it's downwind, we're golden. And the Bruce Jenner here, she is right socked out. Um, we fixed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> how dare you! All right, we got some sludge in the tranny there. Oh fuck it! I'll just raw dog this seat. It's not the first time I haven't used protection. <laughs> all right, so uh, yeah, the fucking old Bruce Jenner's all dialed up with fluid. The uh, dipstick's back in her. We even fucking properly fixed this oil leak. Now we're just gonna give her all the way. Alright, if you're wondering how much it's smoking, uh, would all of it be a good answer there, Sawed Off? <laughs> it probably would be. I didn't want to give her all the way and smash that loyal fucking Honda right off the burnout pad. Hey, you've got a you've got a real nice mix here of burning oil, burning engine, no coolant, and a propane system <laughs> that's iced up. <laughs> yeah, but it's not even fucking leaking really bad. It's only pouring off the propane tank. I, th I think the leaks froze off. No, that's good. That's how you know it's safe. <laughs> All right, there's a bunch of different ways to come across a uh, a burnout pad. And uh, Sawed Off Frenchman uh, has a good story on that. The neighbor was uh, replacing his 1960s shitty fucking trailer, <laughs> or you guys call it down in the South Mobile Home. It's a fucking tube shack, just admit it. <laughs> and uh, he didn't want this addition. And I said, well, that looks like a cabin. But then I plowed into it with my fucking skid steer and smashed the corner off, and now it's a burnout pad. Now it identifies as a burnout pad. So I'd like you to just take a moment and say, uh, this fucking thing has nothing to do with judging a car show, but as fuck is it ever fun. We were just struggling. Oh, look at the propane. She's leaking awful hard, but... She was just struggling putting those wheels on there and fiddle fucking with this thing, but Jesus fucking tap dancing Christ, is it worth it? Hey. Party time! Well, clearly they didn't have enough fucking power, so we got a little bit of this going on. 
Now she's on the bottle. She'll fucking dial right into the ketchup. Hey, did you turn the propane on? <laughs> it's for fucking charity. All right, let's start back up. It is a dodge. It's a mystery. Oh boy. Oh, I think she might be getting warm, boys. Oh, Look at the radiator. Don't worry about it. Oh, I think her get up and go has gone up and left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, some of the dodge wiring is fucking thrown in the towel. So what I'm going to do here, just completely bypass old Agar with a little fucking Leatherman action, and uh, let's see if she'll fucking start again. If she does, dodge aren't as shitty as, uh, no, they're definitely fucking shit. It'll go. Boy, do we have a fucking treat for you guys! You don't have to worry about safety. We're all out of the 
Fucking cunt. Fuck that with man. <laughs> For regular maintenance, you're gonna want to check your oil after your adventure. Oh, oh, oh that smoke means there's oil. That's basically mad. <laughs> yeah, but I barely even risked my life to do that. <laughs> all right, I think we can all fucking agree that we properly fucked that RV up. Now we can get to the uh, judge and all these fucking hot rods. So we got uh, nine or ten or whatever the fuck the number there is um, for fucking vehicles here. So these are the fucking ones we got. We got the anti Greta fucking Prius, the 85, 84 Ferd, uh, 5,000 RPM edition, the 91 cat powered Ferd, the 71 inter smashable 13 letter shit spreader, the shipmobile replica, which is fucking badass as fuck, uh, the bald eagle AMC, and what the fuck does that say? Dakota dumper. Oh yeah, the Dakota dumper. All right, let's fucking go through this shit. And uh, a bunch of people are good at editing and shit. And my fat ass is not. So we're just gonna fucking go ahead and scroll on through the laptop and see what the fuck's going on. So the first fucking piece of shit on here is the anti-Greta P uh the Prius here. So me and the old sod off here, we both fucking agreed that fucking Priuses are piles of fucking dog shit. But uh this one here is pretty fucking mint, being that it's basically a giant fucking punch in Greta's fucking face. How dare you! And the cunt's got a 4BT in it, and Buddy fucking roasted the tires clean off of it. Alright, what do you say, Sawdoff? It's pretty sweet, but it's still a Prius. It, it's still, it, it, that's fucking exactly it. Like, I like spitting in environmentalist face as much as the next guy. Fucking A, but uh, it's still a fucking Prius. It's fucking mint, we appreciate your fucking work. And it's 4BT, so it's probably just heavy as fucking handles like dog shit, but uh, I think it's fucking awesome, bud. Yeah. Good job. Next on the cunt fuckery, it's one of my favorites here. 84 Ferd 5000 RPM edition. This guy is fucking badass. Like, look at this shit. Well, this is the old Ford. Let's get straight to it. fuck of cookies is but they keep fucking making me agree to it all right um i want cookies yeah, fuck yeah i do fat fuck want a cookie yeah all right this guy's fucking mint it's a uh he goes and beats the fuck out of it in the dune or in the fucking gravel pit here you gotta go have a gander at that cunt but uh here's a picture of it in the river uh with the, what still had the box on it, it looks like bagging through the fucking snow the cunt has 44 boggers and regular fucking tsls and this guy is fucking tits out of 10. you, you can't go wrong with this fucking thing you gotta go check out his lube tube channel at uh it, the fucking name of it is ford diesel beaten international car show 2020 the boss garage fucking guy is mint next on the fucking list is a 91 kitty powered Ferd. 
Oh, and fucking uh, old DD Speed Shop. Of course your fucking shit's mint. But it ain't fucking your truck floating in a river mint. And it ain't fucking cat-powered furred mint. So uh, you didn't make the list, you handsome fuck. But your hair is gorgeous. All right, here's the fucking furred with the dirty old fucking com or, uh, cat power in her. She is fucking sweet. This one was on DeBoss Garage's fucking vidges a couple times. Just a hair too on the professional side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is a sweet right, guys, unit. Before though. we get this video started, DeBoss Garage came out with a line of. Now let us stop here. There's no fucking denying that this thing is badass as all fuck. But it ain't Merch fucking mint. Like the quarantine car show, and all proceeds go to the Doctors Without Borders charity. So if you haven't already checked that out, click on the link in the description. Check out some of their merch, even if it's just a sticker. Every little bit helps. All right, clearly that guy's a fucking beauty. But uh, you know that thing's fucking badass, and his work is fucking bar none. And his old eighty video tape shit. So that's fucking awesome. But that's uh, all that's missing to be four wheel drive. We got five inch straight pipe. It's fucking mint, but it's not that fucking mint. It's it's just too pretty. It's not shitty enough. It's not shitty. Yeah, that's exactly to it. To be it's mint, just... it has to be a little bit shitty. Yeah, well, or a lot shitty. <laughs> or very shitty. All right, next on the fucking shit list is the 73 Inner Smashable. It, was that a fucking uh, 7.3 7 or 73? Oh, 73 with a 7.8 in it. Oh, yeah, this thing's fucking mint. All right, so this thing got a 7.8 Ford in it, which is fucking badass. Look at this fucking thing. But he does a burnout with the fucker, which is automatically fucking minter than fucking mint, but... What I appreciate is he clearly spent as little money as possible, oh. and that's that's how you make something that's mint. Fuck yeah. But look at this fucking guy. You gotta fucking appreciate the kickstand for burnouts. Fuck yeah. Well, anyway, this guy is fucking awesome. I don't. There's nothing fucking bad to say about this guy because he even fucking hauls shit. Oh, it's got twin sticks in it. Fuck, he's hauling a light plant or water pump. Fucking old dozer, and he uses the fucking thing. That is fucking mint. So that's points for a practical unit. Yeah, that's fucking unreal. Fuck yeah, good job, bud. What the fuck is this guy's name anyway? I don't fucking know his name, but fuck it, fucking a bud. Good job. All right, next on the fucking list is the fucking shitmobile replica. And uh, my buddy over at Aaron at the Boss Garage there said that he didn't know if someone entered Ricky's car or if this was the fucking legit shitmobile replica. And it is a fucking shitmobile fucking replica. That is fucking mint. Like, unreal. I, don't... I want chicken fingers right fucking now. Yeah, I want the fucking good kind. But uh, anyhow, this thing is fucking badass, but you did a good job at this fucker. But there's one fucking problem that uh, old Napoleon and I both agreed on. It's not sitting in front of a fucking trailer. You and your fucking uppity house that doesn't and have wheels on it. we can see the it. pretty truck in the background. Yeah, what the fuck's that all about? Well, but fucking good job on this fucking thing, man. Like, unreal. Fuck, you got all the details and everything right? Fuck yeah. Good job, fucker. Ricky, there's a lot of guys growing dope here in the park. But you're the only one that's growing dope in this car. And guess what that makes you, Ricky? What? A loser. All right, next on the fucking list is the Bald Eagle AMC. All right, the Eagle Camelback Smeagol the Eagle. This thing's fucking mint. When we first clicked on it, old Sawdoff and here both figured it was a fucking piece of shit. But uh, and then we watched Buddy's video. Doing the old fucking peg legger burnout, and he's fucking mint. Yeah, how do you make something cool? You find some obscure piece of shit car that no one wants, <laughs> and you stick a fucking diesel in it. That's fuck, how you make something cool. Fuck yeah. Mint. All right, here she is. Buddy backs her out of the old fucking driveway. And just fuck the tires up. Fuck right into the catch up. So there's all the points right there. The cameraman just about got run down. So there's some more points. And I think he tried to grab second gear. So there's all the points. And he has a fucking mint sticker on the back of his car. Fucking mint, bud. Good job. And another AMC saved from the crusher. <laughs> no shit. You always see those things at the wreckers too, what you used to. All right, next on the fucking list is the Dakota Dumper. Now, old Sawdoff and here both fucking agreed that um, the old fucking dumper box on it didn't look very functional, but then we seen a fucking picture of it with the goddamn engine in the front and the fucking thing was tipped up. Truck Norris, that's a fucking always a mint name. He hauls shit with it, he uses the fuck out of it. He's got a bunch of shit in the back there. Got fucking egg tires on it, bias plies, but this fucking hillbilly. Put airbag fucking, we, we couldn't believe that these cocksuckers would have enough jam being how far back they are to actually lift the fucking box And up. nobody's going to want to be within 10, 15 feet uh, oh, of no. that thing when you're lifting. <laughs> Fuck, that's the best part about it. 
But the, uh, this thing's fucking tits out of 10 for sure because it's just a pile of fucking mint and it has a turbo on it. So you know it's good. It doesn't matter what motor's in it. As long as it's turbo, it'll fucking give her. Good job, fucker. So there's the whole fucking list of the trucks that we went over and we had a look at. You know, they were all fucking mint. But there's one that fucking stood out above them all. Pull her off. The fucking 85 shitty screw cab. Fuck is this thing mint. She's a fucking Chev. It started off as a 2 by 4 He's been through a bunch of fucking bodies on her. She's got a fucking uh, military dump box on her that he cut a bunch of fucking... Uh, cut six inches out of the front and six inches out of the back. Uh, it kind of started blowing you joints out with that Cummins pretty quick. See, when you, wherever you click on the fucking seven. video is fucking gold. This guy is... This truck is exactly what I like to fucking drive. Like, it's fucking mint. It's got a dirty old 24 valve in it. NV4500, 205... It's over 260-something thousand miles. 205 fucking T-case, and the guy drives the fuck out of it. She's a daily driver, and look at this fucking thing. It is fucking rotten. I love it. <laughs> oh, it's so He went through the trouble to put that rotten cab on. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, VP44 and put in a P7100 injection. And you know that this whole fucking thing... You know, this whole fucking thing was hand-fucking-crafted by him and his goddamn dog. Look at how fucking mint that mud is. No professional would put that cab on that truck. Oh, exactly. This guy is fucking mint. This is... Now, if you were ever going to drink beer with a guy, look at this fucking guy. Look at his beard. Fucking tits are the 10. He built it. 20 over on the pistons. Shaved the head. 75 horse injectors. Put in, like I said, the heavier lines with the P7... Shaves his fucking heads, but doesn't shave his fucking face. Fucking mint. Spooled that P7100 up for just a little bit. ATS exhaust manifold, PDR, HX3540 hybrid turbo, and a Banks Big Hoss intake. So go and check out this Minty Cunt's fucking video. This truck is fucking awesome. He hauls a bunch of shit with it. He uses it every fucking day. He's miling the cunt out, and uh, the guy's just fucking mint. Like, look at all the shit in the cab of his truck, too. Like... That's how you know he's fucking tits out of 10. This guy's, this guy's unreal. Go check out his video. Um, it's uh, DeBoss Garage International Car Show 2020 Car Show Entry. So go check out this cunt's fucking lube tube channel. His name is uh, Rough Cut Ranch. He's got a bunch of videos on there where he's bagging on shit and fucking things up. So he's definitely a worth, worth a watch. And uh, Sawed Off Frenchman and I both fucking agreed that that one is fucking mint. Which really goes against the grain because we are not Chev guys. Not Chev guys at all. You, we, you know, because we don't suck dick. But um, this is fucking unreal. Bud, if you want to know who wins the fucking International Corn Tea Fuck Show in my books, it's you, fuck. Good job. So once again, I'd just like to fucking thank old uh, Rich and Aaron over at the Boss Garage. You guys are just unfucking real people for doing what you did. Um, I guess they raised a fuck pile of money for Doctors Without Borders, so um, we really fucking appreciate that because uh, motherfuckers these days are in hard shape and it's real nice that you fucking did what you did. And everybody's always fucking saying about how uh, we waste vehicles and fuck things up and burn things to the ground and how some other fucking asshole could have used it. But I think we'd all fucking agree that that shitbox RV had uh, it, its get up and go has got up and left a while ago. And, uh, well... We kind of, like, a lot of people say, oh, fuck, you could have fed starving kids in Africa with that fucking thing, or whatever the fuck they say. But uh, in this case, that shitty fucking RV doing a burnout for a car show for fucking charity is probably the best way to go about it. So uh, fuck all you cunts in the comments section. They're going to say we fucking wasted it because it was a giant fucking piece of shit. And now it's going in to uh, help motherfuckers that don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Anyhow, until next time. Keep shitting out your fucking ass and go check out the goddamn car show.